Hey, this is Matt once again. We're about to end the videos of the paid requests, this time from Robert Correa. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And this is one of two that Robert wanted me to talk about. This one called Almost Human from 1974, which I guess is a, well, it's a European film directed by Umberto Lenzi who usually is known for doing horror films, but this is one of those times he did action. And this wasn't too bad. This wasn't too bad. I mean, I see action, but it's not really action film. It's more of a, I don't know if I want to call it, like crime movie, pretty much we're with this complete psychopathic guy. And he's really what makes the film for me, at least watchable. There's not a lot of action. If you don't expect an action, you'd be very disappointed. But this guy, Tomas Milan, Milan, the title of the movie fits because he's a complete utter trash bag. He's a sweat off a crack of an ass. He's just complete psychopathic piece of shit. Because. Even from the beginning where he's supposed to be part of this robbery and he's a psychopath but at the same time he's a very scared guy as well. So usually it's like he's tough, he's got a big ego because he's so tough and he's so macho. No, this guy's not macho. He's just very much a scared scumbag. And he shoots this cop who's just going to tell him, move the car. Maybe give him a ticket. And this is a guy that seems to enjoy killing. And you get this car chase. And after the car chase. Well, decent car chase. Not a bad car chase. But even the other guys know he screwed up. So they beat the hell out of him. And he's a guy that will just kill whoever. For almost whatever reason. He's trying to steal some cigarettes. A cop is wondering, hey, what are you doing? He'll shoot the cop. Uh, he and a group of guys get the idea to kidnap the daughter of this rich guy. They do so. They wait for a ransom. Uh, when they grab the girl, they kill her boyfriend. She runs off. She runs off to this house with a group of people in it. And again, this guy makes the people in the last house and the left seem like <laughs> upstanding citizens. I mean... He'll take three of the people, hang them naked upside, you know, on a chandelier and play like roulette with them. He'll hear a noise upstairs and shoot through a door and then you realize through the door there's a kid there and he don't care. Uh, there's a time when they flee, they don't go too far and the fact that you don't, you don't get to see this, but... You get the idea that the other two guys, they want these women to suck them off. But he t this guy tells the guy, he's like, what? You don't want me to do that. And he says the line, equal opportunities for all. So in other words, start sucking. I mean, not many movies where you have your male antagonist telling someone to suck his dick. I get thankfully you don't see anything, but you get the intention. And like, man, this guy's a scumbag. And he did a good job portraying that. Now, the good guy is Henry Silva, which is cool to see that he's the good guy. He doesn't have a whole lot to do pretty much throughout the film. He's kind of in meetings. He's after the fat in a lot of crime scenes. But you just tell the... How do I call it? His disgust, oozing with disgust as to what's happening and wanting to take this guy down. And you see it bubbling more and more and more. And Henry Silver, for those who don't know, he was the bad guy in Code of Silence with Chuck Norris, Above the Law with Steven Seagal. So it was cool to see him play a good guy. He doesn't have a lot of that to do, but it's nice to see him in that role. Now, the other actors, I mean, they are what they are. It's a Euro 
so overseas films so you don't have dubbing things of that nature like I said there's not a whole lot of action but you know I was left intrigued because I was just wondering just where else this guy was going to go and what lines he was going to say I'm going to wash my hot dog in champagne every morning when we get paid I'm like that's the way of putting it and he tries to be a bit smart so there's a point where his girlfriend he goes to see her and then she he kind of knows she may be a liability so she he shows her the newspaper and she puts two and two together so he gets out of the car has the gas running and car goes off the cliff but then later he pretends to be the crying boyfriend to try to ease suspicion off of him. <clears throat> so at times it's a bit violent, at times it's fairly sleazy. Yeah, some nice Ennio Morricone music, who of course did the Man With No Name trilogy among many other movies. So it was nice to have him on the soundtrack. I said the to see Henry Silva play a different kind of role instead of just a typical bad guy. To see this lead guy just be a complete scumbag. Lacy, he is the the star of the movie. And again, scenes I never really witnessed before, like again a group of people hung off a chandelier, played as roulette, things of that nature, definitely made the film interesting to watch. Like I said, not everybody's going to get into it because maybe they'll wish that there was a bit more action or a bit more. I don't want, maybe a bit more style in terms of camera work or things of that nature. Uh, they get more into spoilers. When you get to the third act, Henry Silver's warning, listen, if you pay, they don't kill her. If you pay, you don't kill her. They don't listen to him. Of course, this guy's so off the deep end. Uh, he's ready to do something to the girl, and one of the cohorts is like, what are you doing? Tries to stop him. So... He kills the girl, the hostage. He kills the one guy who his his partner calls him shitheads. <laughs> and then there's the other guy wondering, what do you do? You that was my friend. Kills him. Gets to a little scuffle with the police. Gets away. You think okay, he got away, but no. Henry Silver, Henry Silver at this point it was shot in the leg. He's a bit of a cripple. He just finds the guy and pulls a gun on him and says. I condemn you to death. And you see the bad guy scared, crying, No, no, you're, you're the cops. You, you can't do this. So he shoots the guy. Sally, no bid blood squibs. I wish there were. And lo and behold, he falls into the trash like where he belongs. I guarantee that was done on purpose. That he, when he gets shot, he falls right into the trash. And as Henry Silva says, Hey, I'm a former inspector, and I just got the killer. And hey, the bad guy's dead, and the movie's over. <laughs> so yeah, this film, uh, I did not mind at all. I, I thought it was a, a... It went at a decent enough pace. I said the... The, the trashy feel of it, the, the music by Ennio Morricone. I said that this lead guy, he was an interesting fella. Like I said, he's a psychopath, but at the same time, he's not cool, calm, collected like a Hannibal Lecter or, or anything of the sort. He's like buddy eyed and he's always nervous and, and willing to kill whoever is in his way and not caring at all. Yeah, I mean, I think if Henry Silva had a bit more to do, where there were maybe some close calls. They're on the trail. Maybe I will like it a bit more, but as is, I thought it was okay. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye for now.